Hi everybody, and welcome back to Ages Does Valheim. We are on part 19, and in the previous video I said we were going to go look for a plains that borders with a meadow, which is exactly what I've got here. Uh, I did need the help of some uh, Google magic powers. I googled my seed because I was getting a little bit frustrated. So I can't say I fully explored it on my own, but I did say all the way here. So I was like going all the way up to here, all the way over there. There was a nice little spot there, which I could have used, but it was borderlining right on a camp, a goblin camp. So I was like, oh, I can't build there. And then there was another one that I found, it was over here, right there. But that one's far away from water. So I was like, oh, come on. So I asked Google, this is my seed. Where is a good spot to find? So obviously I ran back and forth here a few times to try to find this location. But here it is. This is going to be our new home. I'm busy leveling up the ground here. So that we can get started. But this is going to pretty much be our forever home. Basically we're going to build our gardens. But yeah, I did use the help of the magic powers of Google. Okay. And as you can see, I don't have any resources except for what I've gathered all here. So, let's place our smithy, a smithy workbench. And this ground is fairly flat. I'm just raising it up just a little bit, just with the hoe, to get us started. I don't actually have anything with me for the building side until I go back to base and fetch it. And this isn't going to be the final outlook of the base. This is just so we can get started and start getting materials here. We do still need to go back to go kill that boss. We know where the boss is. And he wants to, he wants to be killed. Yeah. yeah, I figured that would happen. But yeah, this will be our new base. This is where we'll be doing all our future projects from. It's a nice little area. Plenty of wildlife, but that was the main requirement, having a plains area right next to it. And there was, there's the little uh, vendor as well that I found. And there's a little snow area to explore as well, but that's a tiny one according to Google. So yeah, I still need to clear the land. We still need to do some building. But unfortunately, I did need to ask Google.
So here I'll be able to grow normal normal plantations as well as the bigger door. So yeah, I'll be able to plant no normal vegetables and stuff at this base. And I'll also be able to plant the, whatchamacallit, the plains food. Uh, and these plains aren't exactly safe per se, because they're still spawning Deskidos. And they also got a few little goblins running around. So I'm guessing the locks can also spawn here. But they're not hectic spawns. It's a very small biome. So it's pretty much just big enough to build a garden. And that is exactly what I was looking for. So obviously I've now got to go bring all the resources and everything through this way, which I will be doing, just not right now, just getting us started. We still got to go back and kill that boss. I don't think I forgot to go kill the boss. We're still going to be doing that. Uh, but this video is just to get us started. I will be... Going to go get my forges and everything else. Obviously all the food is that side too. only thing this place is missing is my big tree but I believe if I can get the right seeds I can grow it myself I just can't remember what that tree is called Okay, so we pretty much got enough wood to get us going. And 
before the game screams at me. Mechanics, mechanics. Yeah, we won't see those that are just placed there. Because they're just there to block the fire. Doesn't look right. to chop some more wood. Because I don't even have a bed here yet. Which is pure madness considering. That can happen at any second. I don't even have a bit. But I will be honest, I'm really happy I found the spot. First night in my new home. See, and also the reason why I bought two, even though I think I'm going to have to remove that, those two pieces. That's because I want to build four of these. Uh, 
I'm going to need to head back. A little bit sooner than I would have liked, but my axe is breaking. See, this one's not protected from the rain. Doesn't seem to be going out with the smoke effect. As far as I know, the smoke's not coming. Oh, it is coming to my house still. Yeah. We need more wood. So there is actually a trick to fix this. I'm going to do the trick rather than try and do this. Okay. Oops, I'm about to burn my feet. Hey. So in this game, there is smoke mechanics, right? Which is pretty obvious to what I'm busy just trying to sort out here. But there's a way to fix the smoke mechanics. By doing this simple little trick. doesn't even need to be this complicated as what I'm busy making it now. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Uh, I don't have any stone, but there's stone around, and I've got my Trusty little pick. It's a stump. Yeah, so you saw I d didn't go all the way over, but I need to go underneath there quickly. Just pop in here. Hi, how you doing? Okay. And then you just place a roof, like so. Yeah. 
here I can just place that and now the smoke will actually have somewhere to go That's relieving my problem of me being smoked out. This the smoke will escape through the little holes that are left there. And I'll sit in the roof. And as long as it is three tiles. So that one will go up there, move two spaces, and same with that one. You will not actually have a smoke problem. I'm just going to make these into that. So it will force the smoke to go that side. Simple, easy, and effective. And there we've got our new home away from home. Home two. Because this was home one, but we're pretty much done with this that part of the map. We just need to go and kill that guy. But it's easier just to run back and forth from here to there and get our resources. Got cool. enough to make another See, there's almost no smoke here, except for that little bit over there. But I think that's just a small little glitch. But as you can see, the smoke is pummeling out this way, and it's staying alight. Which is what I wanted. But it's not quite in place. But let's head back to the old base. This was just to give you a demonstration of what, I've, what I was looking for. And it's not like... So we gotta break our boat. Be able to hold all the resources. I want the boat to come onto the shallow land. So that I can ninja it. I don't want to lose the resources, so you've got to smash it where you can reach it. And must remember, we can't dive in this game. So the only way to go deep water is to be able to jump into it. 
Okay, there we go. I'm gonna pull boat. Okay, so I've got all my resources back from this. Oh, boat sinking. Okay. We need to take a bit of wood. Don't have any wood. Uh. Yeah, we just need enough to build us a Crafting station on the other side of the river. Valheim's way of mooring a ship. And before I leave, I will repair my my axe because there will be a bit of fighting from here to there. So we just repair. We're going to stock up on food and then we're going to run through the forest to get to that side. You guys with me? Munch on the food. So, pretty much all I want to bring through here is the bee halves. Yeah, there's the bee halves. A little bit of iron we've got. Enough stuff to build a forge here. Because there is a bit of black forest as well that we can explore over there. And over there. I think there's actually black forest here in front of me too. To get more, more resources that we need. But... I just want to get our forge so we can repair our tools and everything so we can do big building. You can see I ran through here a few times. But this is all meadow. There we go. There's the black forest. We must just watch out for one or two trolls that I try my very best to avoid. Because all we do now is, once we get to the water, not this water. <laughs> Now wait, so it slows me down. Pull out my torch. As you can see here, it's not the safest route running through the forest like this, but I don't want to have to sail all the way around. There is copper close by. Somewhere here. Oh, 
I remember I did that last time too. Of course. See, here's some copper. I told you that there's some. But I just want to get my ship here. Oh, that wasn't smart ages. I'm not even running with full food on. towards the tower again. See, I did this last time as well, and it nearly got me killed. Okay, well, we're pretty safe here. Let's just kill what's following me. Oh. Okay, nothing's following me. So, we do this. Workbench. Smash the workbench. Kill the Grey Dwarf. Another one. Remember, we're right next to the spawner here, so they're just going to keep coming. Why didn't he jump? And the wind is with us. Oh right, we're going to turn that way there. Which is going to push us into the wind. Slow Viking travels. Because we just got to get to that, that spot there. We know where we are there, remember? Just wish the wind would change direction. But yeah, this is technically our new base, where we're going to live, where we're going to build everything proper. And then we must go kill this guy. I did also find a few swamp places along the way. There's one there, there's one there. And there's some up there. Nice big ones to explore. But we're not quite there yet. Okay. 
this is not storming, so we don't have to worry about sea monsters. But yeah. I'm going to get all the resources and bring that stuff over. As you see, we've got lots of exploring to do in our new home. And yeah, we will take it from there. But in the next video, I will take us to go kill the boss. So I'm going to stop our episode, I think it was 18 or 19. Uh... Yeah, I think it's 19. Yeah, episode 19 over here. And I will move the resources over to our base. And you guys can just join me to go kill the boss. Or even get us a pre-op base up top there. And yeah, we'll take it from there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you like our new base location, which we're going to start building up soon. And obviously I've got to get all my gear and everything ready. So I shall see you all in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. And let's prepare for video 20. Bye.